Hello, beautiful human beings. It has been a long while since I've posted anything on my channel. I think it's been nine months. January 2020. Oh, when I had such high hopes for the year, as we all did. And uh, that was the last one I made. So I just thought I would make a new one. I've missed making videos. I really enjoy making them, editing them, finding things to talk about. So here we are. I've decided to make a video because I'm going to dye my hair. A lot's happened. A lot's happened since January. You know, global pandemic, new president-elect recently. There's been a lot of, you know, tension, stress, a lot of positive things have happened, a lot of tragic things have happened. So yeah, I just haven't really felt like anything I was going to make was worth putting on the internet. But here we are. I've decided I'm going to dye my hair. I'm going to dye it red. I'm going to use a box dye. My hairdresser probably is going to kill me. I have the COVID hair. I've gone a few times to the hairdressers. We're in lockdown here again in Vancouver. Really, my priorities have shifted, as I'm sure many of ours have over the past uh, year. So um, here we are. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think, but I definitely have a shift in color from my natural color, which is this brown, to the blonde that I started a year and a half ago or a year ago. So it's definitely growing out. I don't feel like I want to be blonde anymore. I'm over it. Um, it was fun while it lasted, but honestly, it's a little expensive and it's pretty damaging to your hair too. So here we are making a hair video. How fun. This is the hair dye I got for $10 from the local pharmacy drugstore. Um, I haven't done box dye, honestly, since I was 14. And the funny thing is, I begged my mom to color my hair when I was 14 and the only color she let me do is this auburn-y kind of brown because my hair was already that color sort of. So coming full circle, this is a very, very bright red. I've never been a redhead, so I thought I'd give it a try. So like I said, I haven't dyed my hair since I was a preteen in middle school. So I'm assuming I'm going to get it all over myself, so I just put on a sports bra. Um, roots first. Wait. Oh, I think I'm in the opposite situation going on here. I'm just gonna put it all over. I guess I'll do roots first. I don't know. 30 minutes, basically. Just skip over everything. 30 minutes. So what have I been up to all of quarantine? You might wonder, maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, honestly, everything's shut down. I haven't been to the gym. I used to go to CrossFit. I haven't been to the gym since February. I've been working out at home this whole time and I was running outside a bit, biking, but basically just doing body weight stuff and I got a light set of dumbbells and working out at home. So if you need a workout plan to work out at home over the next few months or however much longer this pandemic may keep us at home, um, feel free to check out my Instagram. Uh, it's also linked in my YouTube as well if you wanna join. So anyways, been doing that. Okay. I actually don't mind how my hair looks. I just don't want it to, I just don't wanna be blonde anymore, you know? ready for a change. So I pretty much know you put one into two and uh, fingers crossed I have enough. My hair has gotten pretty long. If you haven't followed any of my other hair videos, I've had really, really long hair. I've had pink hair. I've had short hair. I shaved the back of my head for a while that out that was quite a pain if I have any advice to give even though it's already been so long that we've been staying at home my only advice would be to just don't put so much pressure on yourself to be this super productive person I definitely at the beginning thought okay now I'm gonna learn the guitar I'm going to work out every day I'm going to like eat better I'm gonna run all the time I'm going to you know start writing in my journal and then when you don't accomplish those things and the time just goes by, you start feeling worse and worse and worse about yourself. And then that's no fun because you're still stuck at home. So yeah, just don't put pressure on yourself. There's not a, we're not supposed to be accomplishing crazy things while we're in a pandemic. We're just supposed to be keeping ourselves and our neighbors safe. So I would say the hardest thing about this whole um, self-isolation stuff and the quarantine is just my family because they don't live in the city and so I don't get to see them regularly enough to keep them in my bubble so I kind of haven't been able to see them very much which is a bummer. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, I wish you just caught that on tape. I just squirted hair color all over the floor. And we haven't even started yet. So I need to go get a rig and clean that right away or it's going to stain. Okay, crisis averted. When I told my mom I was going to be doing this, she, she made a lot of jokes about how I was gonna make a huge mess. And I mean, I haven't even started yet and I already squirted it all over the floor, hoping that it comes out. Um, pro tip when coloring your own hair, make sure you give it a good brush through so it's easier to get the color through. That's my one tip. I really don't think you should be following any of my tips. I don't know what I'm doing. Just keep looking at that floor. Okay, we're going in the roots first. I, I hope this is enough color. I just remember too, I forgot to take like a before photo. And I don't have a lot of selfies these days. Cause you know, quarantine. Okay, here's my strategy. I'm gonna do this bottom part first and I'll do this top part. You know, you're making good decisions when you base your choice on the cheapest box. Like not really so much on the color or uh, definitely not the reviews. I've done absolutely zero research about this. Fun fact, so I actually have been waiting to do this for like two weeks because, you know, a little election happening south of here, because I'm in Canada and you know, blue and red are uh, very significant shades um, during that time. Whoop. So I definitely uh, held off on dyeing my hair this color until now when we're all moving forward. What a year. I'm not superstitious, just a little stitious, you know? Just a little stitch. Some productive things I've done during quarantine, the pandemic, is I uh, grew in my eyebrows a bit more. Also grew in my mustache, but that's not really an accomplishment. That's just an inevitability. Could have really used that uh, amount that I on the floor. I'm gonna take my gloves to encase the hair color bottle because you know I'm not completely moronic and uh, there so it's not gonna get everything all stained. I definitely made a mess. Hope that all comes out. Oh yep hair dye over there for sure. I'm actually gonna put a plastic bag on my head, like so. I'm not confident about this. And then I'm gonna put a shower cap on my head because I have to sit on this for half an hour and I know that I'm me and I'll probably get it everywhere. So I'm gonna do that and clean the bathroom because I actually got hair dye everywhere. So see you in a bit. All right, well, it's been 30 minutes. I took it out. It's red. Um, I, didn't, I don't think I did as bad a job as I thought that I did, but we're also gonna just have to wait and see when it's dry. Anyway, so now I'm going to have a shower and we'll not be taking you on that journey, but we'll meet with you when we're out and drying. So this is what it looks like guys. It is back to a ready pinky color, I would say. And uh, so yeah, this was a $10 box of hair dye from the pharmacy. And 
what a roller coaster was that dying experience and also this year. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was somewhat entertaining for you. That's really all it was meant to be. It was something that I wanted to do and I thought I'd make a video because it would be fun. Here we are, 2020, November. On the positive, another ac big accomplishment of 2020 for me was I cleaned the oven and behind it and underneath it and the whole hood above it and the elements. And I felt pretty proud of myself. It was a big day. It was a big night actually. I did it in the nighttime. It was a project I was really looking forward to because that's where we're at these days. So stay home, wear a mask, be safe, and I'll see you in my next video.